When the foolish wild dog messes with the wrong prey. The natural world of wild dogs is constantly full of fascinating and surprising occurrences. Wild dogs native to Africa are consistently ranked among the continent's top three most successful hunters. They are domestic dogs of medium size, weighing around 50 pounds each. The African wild dog is a dangerous carnivore that is known to attack its victims in a very random way. Look at what happens when the foolish wild dog goes for the wrong prey. Wild animals are compelled to put up their utmost effort in order to emerge victorious from this arduous conflict since every rule and regulation is founded on their power. Therefore, there is no space for weakness. The animals must compete with other creatures willing to do whatever to remain alive. As a result, you not only need to be fast to obtain food, but you also need to be aware of everything happening around you. Wild dogs like to hunt tiny animals like rabbits, possums, and rats since larger prey, such as deer or elk, might be fatal if they are neglected for a second. On the other hand, when you go hunting with your packs, they are able to bring down bigger creatures like the wildebeest. Additionally, the young have larger animals like cattle and antelopes, which make for easy prey because of their size. The most often hunted animals are gazelles, zebras, wildebeests, and warthogs. Spring bucks are also a popular target. When presented with the opportunity, wild dogs may seize smaller prey, such as birds, small animals, and big reptiles, as snacks for themselves. Impalas are a common target for African wild dogs' attacks. This is because they can maintain a pursuit pace of up to 50 km per hour for an extended period of time. Furthermore, 70 to 80% of their victims will be chased by African wild dogs with the greatest success rate of all predators. They will pursue their victim until it becomes exhausted, at which point they can easily kill it. As a result, the African wild dog is one of the land's most proficient and deadly predators, even though it does not have a physical power advantage over other predators in the same habitat. Wild dogs are capable of taking down prey that is up to 30 times their body weight, even though they are tiny enough to carry formidable hunting equipment. The video showed a large herd of wild buffalo, yet the wild dog among it did not show any fear. The improvement of their agile coordination will allow them to disentangle the cart from the herd and transform the raw materials into a meal. The wild dogs in the video clip did not show any fear when they saw a large herd of buffalo. Instead, through fluid and dexterous cooperation, they singled out one from the rest of the pack and made it the focus of everyone's attention. The African wild dog is not afraid to face other forms of predation. A large pack of wild dogs can take out even the most dangerous predators, such as leopards and hyenas. But due to their small size, they will never be able to beat the lions, no matter how many of them are in the pack. There's too much difference in the power and size. Wild dogs must sometimes learn to tolerate the ferocious resistance of their prey. When hunting, wild dogs consider how their prey will benefit the herd. Therefore, the rate at which they are successful when they go for separate meals or hunt independently will be much lower. And on occasion, these predators will kill themselves because they chose the wrong prey. The female has taken the lead in this charge, which several adults, some young pups, and an adult male are closely following. They are looking for an opportunity to go hunting, and as they do so, the dogs cover a significant amount of ground so they may gain a sense of the pattern. The African wild dog is often regarded as one of the continent's deadliest carnivores. In this regard, they are comparable to leopards, hyenas, and lions. The management of social order and discipline is the responsibility of wild dogs. It is one of the most critical factors contributing to their ability to live in hostile situations. However, there are a few of them that are far bigger and riskier. 
Sometimes African wild dogs live in groups, and when they do, a male and female usually take turns being the pack leaders and responsible for breeding. In most cases, the mother will give birth to anywhere from 3 to 10 pups, which will then be cared for by the pack. This wild zone is very sociable, with individuals being able to share food and provide help to one another when they are ill or weak. This breed has a high propensity for social engagement, and members of the breed often communicate with one another via tail wagging motions and many other sounds. The African Wild Dog Pack typically consists of 5 to 30 individuals. In days gone by, they congregated in far larger herds. Additionally, they will not hesitate to seize massive uprights such as trees, particularly in the event that their victim is damaged or sick. Additionally, this breed will supplement its diet with a variety of different types of birds and rodents. When the herd reaches the necessary size, they can hunt a tethered wild buffalo that is 30 times their size. The disappearance of their natural environment poses a danger to the African wild dog. They are at risk of losing their country if the meadows and plains where they may run for food are destroyed, and if this happens, they will no longer have a place to a call home. The African wild dogs may regularly throw up meat on their litter of pups. After then, they will start having puppies and no longer reside in the subterranean burrows. The coat of an African wild dog often includes a variety of tiny patches and in colors, including brown, yellow, black, and white. African wild dogs previously inhabited most of the continent and delighted in the company of other canine species and their own families. But the grasslands of Africa are exceedingly hazardous for animals, and there is neither an exemption or any pity. The lion is the monarch who cannot be controlled. This rowdy pack of dogs has infuriated the lions, which has resulted in the lions attacking and killing a number of the cubs. Wild dogs face a significant risk of extinction due to lions and other dangerous predators. Consider this creature to be intriguing to you. But because of the lion's formidable strength, none of its potential meals will ever challenge it. When it comes to mature male lions, other predators like leopards and hyenas become the monarchs of the prey they hunt. The wild dog has no choice but to combat other animals competing for the same region. Lions are known to do frequent inspections of the territory that is theirs to determine whether or not an adversary is encroaching on it and to serve as a deterrent to other predators that may be present in the region. When it comes to protecting their territory, lions are exceedingly careful. When they encounter other predators in their habitat, they will often attack them. These wild dogs have committed the cardinal scene of attempting to enter that area to hunt for their prey. On the one hand, the alpha lion considers the wild dogs dangerous to his offspring because of their unpredictable behavior. Wild dogs are relatively small compared to the size of other predators. However, they are a terrifying adversary because they can combine into swarms, have the capacity to attack, and have a success rate of up to 80%. Fortunately, the connection is cut just in time to save the wild dog from stopping breathing. The younger wild dogs in the pack enjoy themselves immensely while their elders hunt. They are arguing over a chunk of meat their mother brought back from the impala earlier. When the adult dogs in a pack go hunting, only a few female wild dogs often stay behind to look after the pups. The possibility of the puppies being ambushed by the adversary is dangerous. It is a far more complex situation when those adversaries are huge male lions. Several unlucky victims are bitten as a male lion rushes into a group of 20 wild dogs. A few moments later, the same thing happened to another puppy. In addition, three other male lions took part in the slaughter. They weren't there for long when they saw an unfamiliar young male lion enter their area, at which point they began chasing the dogs. 
Even though they have suffered significant casualties, the Lions area is still home to one of the most important populations of wild dogs. The Lions may be murdering one other as retaliation for a previous assault by wild dogs on a mother lion and her youngster in their region. The pride of the Lions was angered, and as a consequence, the strays were killed and eaten. The lioness turns her back to them and engages in combat with the wild dogs to divert their attention. They were offering her cup the opportunity to fly securely. However, there are other wild dogs around the mother and her cubs. When they gather in huge numbers, wild dogs may be just as dangerous as hyenas. They are not intimidated by bigger lions and will attack them. In the wild, the dogs continue to assault, but eventually they gave up and ran away. Fortunately, both the mother lion and her cub have been preserved. And on the very following day, the lion took vengeance against his enemies. What are your thoughts on the stupid acts the wild dogs committed when they purposefully confronted the king of the grasslands? And then dogs were taken aback when they came face to face with Africa's largest living land mammal, the elephant. Because wild dogs have such a strong aversion to water, they try to spend as little time in it as possible. After observing this elephant, the wild dogs attempted an assault, but they knew that the elephant prevented these dogs from getting near them. As a result, the wild dogs gave up their attempts. Elephants are the largest animals found in Africa. Even a lion pride will be unable to defeat an adult elephant. Nature is brutal by its very nature, so animals have no choice but to learn the skills they need to survive. Leave a comment with your ideas in the space provided below. Please don't be shy about asking us questions. We appreciate you staying with us to the very end of the video. If you want to see more videos, give the channel a like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate you watching.